the footage you're seeing is from recent drone flights that we've taken over Stromboli, uh, where we've used the drone to drop sensor pods around the top of the volcano. And this is because Stromboli is an active volcano, and we can use this as an example where we can use sensors deployed right at the top of the volcano to give us a, an advanced early warning of eruptions. Most everyone has seen a picture or a video of a volcano erupting and it's a point source event of really high energy. Now on their own volcanoes are dangerous but we can actually use them as analogues for nuclear sites when things go wrong because with a volcano you have a plume and if you think about Fukushima you also had a plume. So using volcanoes as a test bed for autonomously deploying sensors is really good practice in case of a nuclear emergency. Once placed on the volcano, the sensors sit there. Um, most of the time they're asleep, but whenever there's a small tremor, the sensor pod is woken up by a piezoelectric and then records things like uh, gas composition, temperature and humidity. And it sends that wirelessly to a base station, which is sitting at a, a safe distance up to 16 kilometers away, which then can forward on the data to us in our laboratory using a satellite uplink. As we move forwards, we look to develop this technology further so that the sensor pods um, have, have a greater variety of things that they can measure, but also that the drones can carry multiple dragon eggs at any one time so that you can maybe deploy five or six sensors in one flight. <laughs>